What's going on? We're back at the beach. Today it's Miami day number six. And uh, we just enjoying the sun today. We just ordered a super duper pizza. This one is called All Dressed. We have some uh, jalapeno, no, not jalapenos. We have some onions. We have some uh, pepperoni. What else is on there? Some green uh, carpenos, I think. Yeah. And we're just gonna enjoy this just today. And I mean, glasses are on, smile is on. Let's enjoy. Special update, still at the beach, enjoying the sun and uh, water, but uh, me and Simon, we are hitting up a uh, local shop here, and this is also what I love about USA, you can just go and uh, grab a beer whenever you want, because you can buy them just in the local, local shop here, you don't have, like in Sweden, Systembolaget, who uh, only has open to three on Saturdays. Fucking sucks, man. Anyway, you're still enjoying and uh, catching the next one. Just the beginning, you know. We gotta live out here. We're gonna see everything climbing. Everything's gonna be fucking amazing. Just watch out. This is gonna be an amazing year. So we just finished up at this OG restaurant. I think I had the greatest risotto in all of my life. This was a shrimp scallop risotto. It was 
bloody amazing. It was so tasty. And we are sat down by, by the water. So some, some docks here, uh, some docks where you sat, by, uh, sat down by the water. So amazing, had a white wine to this and uh, that was really great. Last, time, last day in Miami for uh, the family I'm staying with. Uh, but now we're gonna head back to the house, maybe have a light, Nate light. Damn, can't talk, so tasty. <laughs> gonna have a Nate night drink, that's why, right. okay. What's going on? All right, peeps. So this is the final day. Oh, hold on. This is the final day of my friend's family staying in Miami. They're leaving today, and I'm off alone for two days. I'm gonna stay here, find some awesome stuff to do. I have no idea what, but uh, I think it's gonna be. But I'm interesting. First time I'm really staying somewhere alone. No, it's only two days, but. Whatever's gonna be fine. But I figure out as we leave in the villa, I'm gonna give a short house tour just to see where I've been staying for these past seven days. So follow me out here. Uh, by the way, so this is the uh, one of the back entrance where we had our bikes. Then we have, then we have dinner area right here. Sweet uh, hammock, I think it's the name. Then you walked in right, then you walked in right, then you walked in right here. And you have dinner area that we never used. And here, and here, and here is the main living room. So I two these, so I two these nice huge beds. Uh, just a simple walk-in closet. Have this bathroom as well pretty nice bathroom actually I love the shower and this blue very very nice and then if you keep on walking we'll come to the second living room uh, second bedroom also pretty nice and then this corridor leads to the main living room very nice closet here and on the other side one for him one for her, then we have their bathroom. Also pretty good. Big area. Also very nice shower here. And then you had an exit right here as well. See if I can get it up. That's what he said. And you come out to the pool area again. That's the main tour. Very nice staying in. I think we were six people. I think you easily could be eight to ten people in this house. Very affordable. I do prefer this over something like a apartment or like a big hotel. Much more comfy feeling if you're staying like this with a couple friends, couple families, you know. So front rod right here. Had a car for the week. I do like the palms, man. It's such a such a nice feel. So here's the house. Not much on the outside. Once you're inside, you do you do like the, the, the feeling of this? So okay, so this is gonna wrap up this one. I hope you enjoyed this little house tour. I have no idea how it looks or how it sounds, but see what I can figure out in these two days coming up here. So see you later. Alright peeps, and if you can see me out here, here's better, right? Alright, so I'm officially alone in Miami. 
I decided to do voice over here because the car noise was so heavy, uh, you couldn't hear a thing. So I just left the family and grabbed a salad and tuna on the way here for grocery store. I'm heading down to the beach, uh, gonna have a sunny day. Quickly want to grab in my f current feeling, what I had right here. I was very, very excited because I was now on my own. I have all of myself to deal with. But I was also kind of scared, you know. First time ever in a country with no one to call, no one to contact. So, it was really an experience for me. Uh, and you're gonna see what this, this turned into, so stay tuned. Alright, so we are back again. Don't know if you can hear me, but I just went uh, from the beach. I was there for a couple of hours, I think it's soon 5 o'clock and I'm now heading down back to the to the motel, the hotel to see if I can check in and it's a really nice outside so I'm actually gonna head down this road, I think it's like a few kilometers down there so it's gonna take a while but I'm feeling for a fresh walk actually I had the bus going this road as well Ask the driver, it costs two dollars for the complete uh, complete route wherever the bus goes. And I think I have two or three bus stops to get to my, my place. So. This is this right here? Yeah, thank you. Whoa. All right, so that was my first purchase as the classic Walmart. I've done the shopping. Just grabbed the yogurt for breakfast and a couple of noodles, you know, sheep stuff. As a traveler I am at the moment. But yeah, Walmart people. Look the, just like a typical Ikea Maxi back in home in Sweden. Can I head home now to the motel? See what we can uh, come up with. See ya. Right off here is my hotel right here in this little area on the right side you have apartments left side you also have a apartments you know the reception is on the left side here so gonna head down in but it's looking kind of cozy right Tiana Beach if you're staying in Miami sheep rooms see if they're any good What's going on guys? I'm back here. It's night time in Miami and I'm actually heading to one of my favorite YouTubers food place. It's got she 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 pulled play. Max moving max tuning. I'm gonna eat some food. All right guys. So I'm gonna head in here see what uh, it's all about. He's been talking about so much this guy. I fucking love him. Better check him out. Max tune 2 2x tuning on YouTube, shout out to that guy, fucking awesome, made me start doing this, so let's go, let's go. Now. 
Okay, so I just finished off at Chipotle and holy damn, it was bloody tasty. God damn. Max, fucking cheers to you, man. I'm so fucking stoked. That was one of the restaurants I really wanted to go to when I'm here in the USA, the States, or whatever you call it. Super tasty flavors, oh my god. And now we're gonna walk by some officers that have caught some guy here. It's a night here in Miami as usual. Saturday night, busy as shizzle, McDrizzle. But uh, as I'm on alone here in the States, I think I'm just gonna head to my motel and chill the f down. And take another Sunday tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, I probably see you tomorrow. Have a good night and catch you later.